Hi there everyone, this is Sean007986. I hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday evening. Well, for those of you who have PlayStation Plus, as I do, we might be having some little problems because the PlayStation Plus is now getting some big price hikes. Now, keep in mind, this ain't targeted to people who, who's getting, who's paying uh, one, do, one month of... Oh, the one month deal, which I am, which is ten dollars a month. But those who are paying the year, the year deal. Oh man! I hope you're ready to set out to spare out a few, few monies because trust me, it's about to get a little bit expensive. Twenty dollars worth. I mean, it's from Polygon. Yes, I know Polygon is crap. I get that part, but I have to get. But it, I have to read this. You know, big, big story out here. Blah blah blah. You know all that. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got. Let's see what this. PlayStation Plus is getting a big price hike. Expect to pay at least $20 more annually. Sony is raising its price for a for a 12-month PlayStation Plus subscription across all plans in September, which is next month. Subscribers can expect to pay at least $20 more annually at the base level known as PlayStation Plus Essential. They'll see bigger price hikes for extras and premium level subscriptions, including an additional $40 per year for the top tier PS Plus plan. Here's the breakdown for new pricing in the United States. For those of you have, who's rocking with the with the 12 month PlayStation Plus Essential subscription, it's now going to be $79.99, up from $59.99. So $80. So it went from $60 to $80 to $80. Those who have the 12, 12 month PlayStation Plus Extra subscription, they will have to pay $135, $135, dollars $134.99, which is up from nine from $99.99. And for those who who went the extra mile and sign up for the 12 month PlayStation Plus Premium subscription. Well, that jumped from one from one twenty dollars a twenty dollars a year, a year to one sixty a year. These price changes go into effect on September six. That's the day. That is actually the day when Starfield drops on Xbox One. And for those who have Game Pass, take a guess who take a guess what I got. Sony said in the announcement for the PlayStation blog. This price adjustment will enable us to continue bringing high value, high quality games and value added benefits to your PlayStation Plus subscription services, the company said. <laughs> yeah, they said that, but next month they're going to be released. But next month, one of the free fucking games that's going to be on, um, on, PlayStation, on PlayStation free games is fucking Saints Row Reboot. I'm dead ass serious. I'm dead ass serious. Current 12 month current 12 month PS Plus subscribers will see those prices change reflect on their next subscription renewal if it takes place on or after November 6. So he said. However, any membership change you make on or after September 6, such as upgrades, downgrades, or additional or by an additional time, will update your plan reflecting these new prices. The company noted. The PlayStation. The PlayStation Plus 12 month subscription prices increase globally. Here's how it takes down for other reasons. For the essential, for the for the yearly essential one, it's 71 it's 71 point 71.99 in Europe, 59.99 in UK, and 6,800 yen in Japan. 12 month extra, 120 125.99 in Europe. 99.99 in UK, 11,700 yen. 12-month premium, 151.99 in Europe, 119.99 in UK, and 13,900 yen in Japan. PlayStation Plus Essentials is the base tier of Sony Interactive Entertainment subscription service that offers online multiplayer access, a monthly assortment of free PS4, PS5 games, cloud storage, which honestly, if you want my honest opinion on that one, that should have been fucking free. For, that should have been fucking free. I mean, look at Microsoft. Their cloud storage is fucking free off the off the fucking 
off the fucking bat, but that's just me, but that's just here and there, and discounts on places and store purchases. The extra tier offers access to Sony's game catalog, which features hundreds of games from the PS4 and PS5 libraries, while the premium offers more, including Sony's classic catalogs, game trials, and cloud streaming. Cloud streaming is is something that, well, Game Pass, well, Game Pass has, has knocked out, so, you know. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is so dumb. I mean, raising the fucking prices? I mean, yeah, thank God I don't, I mean, thank freaking God I don't, I don't do the, uh, the yearly things, because that'd be way too much. I mean, shit, I'm on, I mean, shit, I'm fine with paying $10 a month to, uh, so I can keep PlayStation, PlayStation Plus access for my PlayStation 4, but it's like, bro, what the hell? $20 extra? I know a lot of people are gonna be pissed off about that one, and I'm pretty sure they're they're raising a stink up this one, and deserving and hopefully deserving so. But yeah, the part I read on this one saying uh, this price adjustment will enable us to continue bringing high quality games and value added benefits to your PlayStation Plus subscription service. Yeah, kind of hard to agree with that statement when September you have like. One of the bad games in that library, most specifically Saints Row Reboot. Like, why? And speaking on that one, that's this is just a desperation ploy from um for Volition to double down and try to make a quick fat quick fat buck. But anywho, you know, it, it, like I said, it is. I wouldn't say it, it is what it is, but it's not really not. It's just, uh, it's just a scene like it's so stupid. It's really goddamn stupid because it's like, really though, like fucking really. And besides, who really? And besides, who really was asking for to play uh, freaking, like, freaking Saints Row? Saints Row Reboot. Shoot. I haven't bought... I didn't bought the game because the game looks like trash, which it does. And... And, I, and I'm not going to play it. I mean, if I have to play it, then um, I might have, I will get some likes on those... Likes on the video in order for me to play it. Or if someone wants me to play it just to see me how I can live through, live through that crap. But it is what it... But, you know, it is what it is. I doubt people are going to... going to... going to... Uh, Hop head over heels just to download that game and just play it. Shoot. But, anywho, that's just my two cents of the whole thing. Is. But I want to know what y'all think, okay? As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell to open this uh, update, share with your friends, share with your neighbors, share with your others, and that's about it. Until next time, this is Sean007986 signing off. Thank you for watching this video, it really means a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later. Peace. Wow. Paying paying one month for ten for just ten dollars a month seems like a really seems like the smartest idea I ever made. Of course I'm playing of course I also got you know fucking game pass on my Xbox Series S and I'm paying, gonna be paying sixty nine ninety nine so yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm happy for what I got. That's just me.